and I am in full fucking tears. And so she looks at me like, oh my gosh, you didn't know? Like, no, I didn't know. Like, why would I be up here trying to join if I knew I was pregnant? Like. <laughs> What's up, Pom Pom Game? My name is Shantae. I am the mother of the three beautiful Pom Pom Sisters, and welcome back to our channel. Excuse me, and my nasally voice. I have just gotten over a cold in the past couple of days, and you know, some leftover mucus is still processing its way out. For today's video, I kind of want to do a little talk through while I get ready, which probably isn't a good idea because I sound like a freaking frog right now, but we're gonna make it do what it do because I don't have much of anything else to record right now. This video, I kind of want to talk about my girls our channel is about my the pom pom sisters the three my three little girls that i have um, my oldest is eight i have a five-year-old and a two-year-old three little girls and i just kind of want to talk about how they have come to be my entire world my three little heartbeats so we're going to just go ahead and start off with my oldest little girl while i'm also putting on my makeup because i have things to do and places to go today so I'm gonna do a quick little beat, and this beat is gonna be kinda um, simple. Um, I saw this look on Fenty Beauty. They called it like the new lunar year look where it was a red lippy and a nice shimmer highlight going on, and that is right up my alley when it comes to simplicity. Seeing the products I already have, I did not go out and buy any Fenty Beauty products, so sorry that that ain't coming anytime soon. Going in with my Oma Beauty, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite second skin foundation. Absolutely love this stuff. I'm gonna give it a quick shake. Starting with my baby girl, um, Kalia, who is now eight years old. I had her when I was I got pregnant with her when I was 18. I conceived her when I was 19. So I was fresh out of high school. Me and Christian hadn't even been dating, who is my husband, I apologize. Haven't even been dating for that long. And I'm sorry, I'm going in with the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer for my um, primer. And I only really apply my primer in my problem areas, which is my T-zone. I was working at KFC, honey, my first job ever. I started working there when I was like 16 years old and I had worked my way up to being a shift leader. When I got pregnant with her, it was it was a complete shocker. She definitely was not one of my planned pregnancies. I mean, I was 19. I don't know who exactly is planning on getting pregnant at 19, but I mean, more power to you. So she was definitely a surprise baby for us. Um, to be honest, actually Kalia is not even my first pregnancy with Christian. We had a pregnancy before then. Uh, Kalia is my first baby. Mm -hmm. And I use about three pumps of this foundation to get the coverage that I want. When I found out I was pregnant with Kalia, I was in the middle of joining the Navy. I wanted so badly to get the hell out of Fayetteville. I was so over Fayetteville. I wanted to travel and see the world, but not at my own expense. So I felt like joining the military or any military branch was probably gonna be my best bet for seeing the world and getting paid to do it. Like, so, um, and then it, you know, it kind of made sense for me because my parents are also, um, I'm a military brat. Both of my parents were in the military. So I was already familiar with military life anyway. It wasn't going to be anything out of the ordinary for me to join. Um, the only difference was I was going to be joining the Navy branch while my parents are both Army. So I signed all my paperwork. I head up to MEPS, which is where you do your physical and all that good stuff for them to you know, say yay or nay or whether or not, you know, what jobs you can perform best at based on your physical, you know, statute. And um, I get to where they have to give me a pregnancy test, you know, to make sure I'm not pregnant. And um, I had no flipping clue. And my cup over to the lady and she does a little test and in front of all these, you know, people, she just yells out live and when I say I was a freaking like I turned white <laughs> as a freaking ghost. I was just like like what do you mean? Like what 
what? She she yells it, and after yelling it, I guess she didn't realize that she was yelling it. Cause I mean, she was yelling everybody's like every like if it was negative, she she was just in the her her mood, her you know mode of working. And as she's going through, she you know negative, negative, negative. Up oh, is positive, and then everybody just fucking freezes. Like everybody's just like, oh my god, and they're looking at me, you know. And um, the lady turns around because she she has her back to me. She's not even like looking at me. She has her back to me. She turns around to see who it is because you know it shocks her too. Like oh wait, positive. She turns around and looks at me and I am in full fucking tears. And so she looks at me like, oh my gosh, you didn't know? Like, no, I didn't know. Like, why would I be up here trying to join if I knew I was pregnant? Like, no, like I hadn't missed my period or anything. Like, I am bawling in tears, crying. I don't know what to do. I didn't even bother calling Christian to let him know because Christian and I were, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend at the time. Um, I didn't even call him to let him know what was going on. I was just so freaking shocked. Like, I didn't know what to do or you know, like my body was just in pure shock so that night i went to work um to kfc i had to work that night and close the store and you know everybody knew i was going to maps that day to sign up so of course everybody's just like well, what job did you get what did they say you know did you swear in blah 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 everybody's so excited and i have nothing to deliver like nothing at all and i'm just like i'm still just in shock i'm just like you know i give some like bullshit lie like yeah, um, they had to hold off on my paperwork or something like that. I still have not told him, you know, what what happened at MEPS. Like, he still thinks I'm about to leave and go to the Navy. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with the uh, Ma Beauty Woke Concealer, my favorite freaking concealer. Like, it really has my bags because I have some serious mom under eye bags, so great stuff. Uh, I haven't even told Christian, I think like a week and a half goes by that I still am walking around with this secret and I haven't told any freaking body. Like I'm just still trying to process what the hell I'm gonna do. So I think Christian finally like caught on and I just broke down and told him like, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm pregnant. Of course, I'm still living at home with my mom. He's living at home with his mom. We're still teenagers. Like, I'm working at KSC, minimum wage, barely making anything as a shift leader. Christian was working at Papa John's um, as a delivery driver. And, I mean, he was making better money than me. But it still wasn't a job that I felt like we could raise a freaking child on. I mean, and... Then I know how my mom is. Like I didn't. I also knew I did not want to raise a child in my mama's house. Um, and and you know I, I I go over all of my fears pretty much with Christian. Like, look, you know, we're pregnant. We're about to have a baby, and um, I'm not trying to live with my mama. I'm not trying to live with your mama. I'm not trying to live with nobody. We're going to have this child. We need to make the necessary steps of you know, being adults, like being on our own, not relying on our parents because I knew that that wasn't what I wanted for my child or for myself. Needless to say, I was a very angry and mean and pissed off pregnant girl. I mean, I wasn't even a woman yet. I was a pregnant girl and scared as hell. So I lashed out at a lot of friends. Um, I cut a lot of people off and mainly because I was just mad at myself like nobody else did anything to me I was just upset and disappointed with myself so um that all happened in like November of 2010 I mean fresh off of graduating high school and I think I finally told Christian in December <laughs> so um I ended up having to tell my job and everybody, of course, that I wasn't joining the Navy, that I was going to be having a baby. And I went to my manager trying to let her know, like, look, like, I'm not going nowhere no time soon. I'm gonna need more money. Like, so she tried to fight to get me a better raise and all that. And um, I was working on means of getting my own place. Christian and I were working on finding our own apartment. So I'm now gonna go in with a setting powder to set my concealer that I just did and then we are going to go into the eyebrows which I go in with a brow pencil by Even New York in the color natural espresso um, I haven't told my mom yet um, I 
didn't tell my mom until February of that following year. I was about three, four months pregnant. And I didn't tell her because I went to make sure I had all of my T's crossed and my I's dotted because I knew she was going to be disappointed. I knew it was going to, you know, break her heart that I was pregnant so young. I knew that's, that wasn't something that she wanted for my future, you know, and what, what parent does, you know, completely understandable. I have told my mom that I have plans on moving out, but she thinks I'm moving out because I just want to be a grown ass teenager and move out on my own. When in reality, I was pregnant and I didn't know how to tell her to come clean and let her know um, at the time. So I had got up with some, you know, luckily working at KC, I had some really good friends and they told me how to go about getting Medicaid. So I would have insurance to have my baby because I, I didn't have no insurance. I, I mean, I was an adult. I was considered an adult. I was not on my parents' insurance and I couldn't use my parents' insurance because I'm pregnant. and. <laughs> I didn't want them to be responsible for my baby. Like this is this is on me, you know? Me and Christian are working on finding our first apartment. So we have no clue what our bills are gonna look like. He has no clue. Pretty much like the ball roller on all of this shit. Like, look, this is what we're gonna do. If you plan on being here, doing you know, I'm gonna need you to join, you know, join the team. Let's go. If not, let me know. So I can find other means of doing what I got to do by myself, you know, but Chris is a good guy. You know, he, he never left me or had intentions on leaving me with a baby by myself. So he's just like, you know, all right, let's go. Let's let's get to what we need to do. So since we had no clue what our bills were going to look like, I'm now going to go in and sculpt my eyebrows. And since I don't know how to talk and sculpt eyebrows at the same time, you're just going to watch me do my eyebrows and we're going to pause on our story real quick. So we gather up what our income is and try to determine what we can afford as far as rent. And we found this janky, ran down apartment um, across town. It was probably about uh, probably about 15 minute drive away from my um, parents' house. And um, it, it was the pure flipping ghetto. Like it was the most ratchet place to ever move in, especially as first time apartment owners. But I mean, that's all we could afford and we didn't know what our bills were gonna look like. So we signed up for like a six month lease. You know, we're just like, okay, we're just gonna have this apartment for now so we can at least see what we can and cannot afford, afford as far as rent, utilities, being able to feed ourselves. I move out of my mom's house. You know, my mom was very upset. She was hurt. She felt like I was leaving because it was something that she didn't or didn't do, you know? One day I went to go visit my mom because I still haven't told her that I'm pregnant. Um, Christian hadn't even told his mom that he's pre that you know that we're pregnant. You know she's just happy that he's moving out. All right, now I'm going to go in with a uh, contour for my cheeks, forehead, and down the side of my nose, and I'm going in with the Morphe contour palette, and um, I just use this shade right here. It doesn't have names. I just go in with a shade that's about two or three shades darker than my skin tone just to give me that natural glow and i just kind of softly brush it on there back to the story uh so christian hasn't told his mother anything either we're just now getting settled into our apartment we have bought like tables and stuff off of craigslist this is when craigslist was like really really big then uh, we went and bought a bed from like one of those rent to own places um Christian had a futon that he used to sleep on at his mom's house, so we brought that over as our sofa. That was our sofa, couch, whatever. I had saved up some money um, just from, you know, working. I had about two or three hundred dollars in a savings account. I used that to buy my baby's crib, so I bought my first, my, my child's crib and all that. Um, a lot of stuff was donated to us. People donated like plates and microwaves and vacuum cleaners. Like a lot of stuff was just straight up used, donated, or we bought it off of Craigslist. You know, the only thing that we had that was brand new was our bed set. And that was like one of those rent to own payments where, you know, by the time you're done paying it off, you done paid three times the, the amount that it was actually worth. Um, but that's all we could afford. So, you know, no complaining. We knew we had to do what we had to do as parents. We were about to become parents. And I don't do a crazy strong contour. I just kind of like to buff over. Um, I'm not really crazy about sculpted <laughs> cheeks. Like I'm okay having chubby cheeks, it's all good. My all time favorite blush right now is the She Is, She's In Bold by ColourPop. It was from their whatever color, um, their whatever palette, their co uh, collection, the whatever collection. 
and we're just gonna apply that right on the apples of the cheeks and I know you're probably wondering about my set and powder we will brush that off in a minute just give me time to get there so he finally tells his mom he sits down and talks to um, his mom and his uh, stepdad and you know let him know you know hey Shantae's pregnant and she's like head over heels excited that she wants a grandbaby so she's hoping that it's going to be a girl because she has nothing but boys Christian actually has nothing but brothers his dad went on to have other kids and they are also boys too so nothing but boys on his side of town so everybody's kind of or on his side of the family so everybody's kind of excited that you know oh man we might get a girl and you know, they've Aww. cursed us to have nothing but girls now. I just wanna go ahead and throw that out there too. Now I'm gonna take a nice big fluffy brush and brush off all of the excess setting powder. And um, I had no clue how I was gonna tell my mother that I was pregnant. So I went to go visit her one day. I think I had to do her hair. And at this point I'm showing and it's, it's cold. It's the middle of February, March, it's still kind of cold. Um, and I come in there with this big ass coat on. Now granted it was chilly, but it wasn't cold enough for me to be wearing that damn coat. And um, you know, I walk up in there, you know, my mom's just like, you know, take your coat off, you know, I know you hot. And I was, but I'm like, nah, I'm not taking this coat off, you know? So I had, before I went to her house, I had went out to Hallmark to purchase her a card pretty much telling her that, hey, you're about to be a grandma because I had no clue how it to form those words to come out while I was standing in front of her because I didn't want nothing to be chucked at me. I didn't want her to cry. I didn't want to see her reaction. Like, I, I just was not mentally prepared for that. I mean, I'm emotional, I'm scared, I'm pissed the fuck off because I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I have so many emotions going on and uh, my biggest one was anger at that time. Um, so I have no clue how I'm going to tell my mom this news or how she's going to react, nor my father. And, I, and you know, I write in there, you know, hey mom, you know, something to the likes of, you know, this is why I moved out, um, but don't worry, I have Medicaid to help me with my insurance. You know, Christian's, you know, says he's gonna be with me, you know, along this ride. I don't want you to worry. I know you may be disappointed, but I just want you to know that I'm okay, you know? And um, I, I didn't even hand her the card. That's how freaking scared I was. I ended up leaving the card I propped it up all nice and pretty on the kitchen counter on my way out the door as I was leaving. And uh, I think my brother and sister found it and of course take it to my mom like, oh shit, you know, Chate is pregnant. She, she, she didn't even call me immediately, which I, I, I kind of figured she wouldn't. She called my father first. I'm gonna now highlight and I'm gonna go in with the drop of a hat. It's a nice pinky highlight also by ColourPop and it was featured in their whatever collection. Of course she immediately calls my father and my father surprisingly wasn't upset. He calls me immediately as my mom, you know, he gets off the phone with my mom and he was just like, oh my God, you're pregnant, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm proud of you. You know, don't don't think we're upset. We understand that, you know, you, you're trying to do what you have to do, you know. You know, he's excited. He was, you know, I, I hope it's a grand girl, you know, a granddaughter. I just, I, I want to, I want it to be a girl, you know. And I was actually surprised because I, I mean, I'm a daddy's girl, but I thought he kind of would have been a little upset that I got pregnant so young. Um, but he, he also had a child at a very young age too, so he came from a very understanding place. Like he congratulated me. He wasn't mad or upset. He, he knew I was taking the necessary steps to do what I had to do to, be, you know, to, to support my child. She takes me like this long ass paragraph telling me, you know, how she was disappointed, but she, you know, she understands and she was proud that I was making the steps I needed to become, you know, the mother of my, you know, child. And, you know, she she let me know, hey, if there's something you need, let me know. I don't want to lose you as my daughter. I still love you. Um, and I understand what you're doing now. You know, I get it. So uh, very emotional. I kind of like broke down and cried. It was just, it was it was just hard. Like um, I had been carrying around this secret from my parents oh, for almost four freaking months. Well, no, four months for four months. And it was just, it was nice to finally let them know, like, this is what's going on with me. So, oh my goodness, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it now. But I mean, it was, it was, it was hard. It was very hard. And um, I, I felt like I was alone and that entire pregnancy with my daughter. Um, it was a very difficult pregnancy because I wasn't sure if I even wanted kids. Like, 
like I had made up in my mind before I even, uh, you know, met Christian, before I even got pregnant that one, I did not want to be married. And two, I did not want no kids at all. And I sit here now the completely opposite person I thought I wanted to be. And it's just crazy how life ends up working itself out. All right, so our face is now done. I'm going to set it with the Peach Mist by Too Faced and just give it a nice little shake. Once we apply the setting spray, I'm going to now go in with a mascara. And right now my favorite mascara all time is the Better Than Sex Too Faced. Uh, you know, being young and black, like I felt like everybody was already labeling me as a no good, she gonna be in the hood for the rest of her life chick, you know? And that's kind of hurtful. Like I already have enough shit on my plate. I don't need your judgmental eyes. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of that was going on still, you know, although I had already graduated from high school, I was still a kid. And you know, Christian had no freaking clue what he was doing either. Like we were still, kids and you know we just had to grow up fast so you know me and christian definitely our relationship went through the freaking gutter um and we still able were able to come out and be on top and still build with one another and that's why our relationship is so strong like people don't understand all the trials that we me and him had to go through to get to who we are now one thing i have read is this and this is Prime by ColourPop. So we'll give this a whirl, see how it turns out. Now I do slightly overline my top lip and that's because, you know, Auntie Jackie told me to. So, I mean, you gotta do what Auntie Jackie tell you, so. Ooh, she is cute. I don't know where this one often. Ooh, hey, red lips, how you doing? All right, so here is the finished completed look with our red lips. I added some earrings and y'all like my new hair color? I retried the pink again and I think this is just as close as I'm gonna get it. And it's fine because I like this a whole lot better than um, that uh, brown that I was rocking for the past couple of weeks. But anyways, your girl is wavy again. I got it cleaned up back here again. Look at her. Mm -hmm. Hey girl, I you to one girl. So um, this is definitely gonna be my favorite go-to look for a while. Scary, scary moments, uh, a lot of angry moments, um, but Mia Christian definitely went through the ringer when it came to being pregnant with Kalia. Um, and, and like I said, I, I was very angry and very mean. Um, I didn't care for Christian at all when I was pregnant with Kalia and she came out looking just like him. I remember my mom telling me the entire time I was pregnant that, you know, you keep doing that and watch, they be the person you hate the most is gonna be that baby's favorite person. And um, Kalia's favorite person is her mama, um, my mother-in-law, and I absolutely could not stand my mother-in-law when I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and she she doesn't know that so if she watches this she'll find out that I did not like her when I was pregnant with Kalia she was so freaking annoying like every doctor's appointment I went to she was calling me hounding my phone trying to find out what happened what I mean she I mean she she meant it in all love but since I was such an angry bitter bitch I didn't want to deal with that like why are you happy damn it I ain't happy <laughs> having Kalia definitely opened my eyes to realize like, it ain't about you no more, and there's so much more to life than being hateful and mean. She literally opened my eyes to uh, what, how, how, you know, how I shouldn't have been, how there's so much more to life, you know? And um, I greatly appreciate that. I greatly appreciate having her, having that. She, she was my biggest blessing. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all on that crybaby note. <laughs> um, because I just did my face, I ain't got time to be crying it all off. 
So we're just going to go ahead and end that story. So thank you guys for turn, tuning in with us this time. Um, we greatly appreciate y'all coming and joining us. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down on your screen. Hit that nice little red button and tune into all of our other videos. If you're just now joining us, check out our other videos all about natural hair, beauty, and the pom-pom family lifestyle. What we do, what accomplishments we take on. Um, and we will see y'all on the next video.